so correlation or getting the correlation coefficient is very useful in numerical analysis because it gives us a measure of the strength of the relationship between two random variables and if for instance you have you have let's say this variable and this variable it gives us a correlation or a measure between the association and this variable so let's do a demonstration let's head over to statistics descriptive statistics and head over to correlation coefficient and open the dialog so in a dialog the first thing is we have to select at least two columns to compare so let's select let's say let's select column b so go to select columns and select b and c so now we have b and c selected now you can choose pearson which is used to measure the strength of a linear association between variables and spearman and kendall is for non-parametric so maybe uh let's just start with linear and add plot and hit okay so for correlations usually have minus one so you have a model so pearson you have a model where you it solves the equation for you and you have the relation the values can either be from plus one to zero to minus one so let's so you have minus one zero and two one so if you have zero or close to zero it means it's not associated so the two variables are highly unassociated in a linear way because we're using pearson once you move to plus one it means it's associated highly associated and you kind of have a slope a positive slope and if you have negative one it means it's negatively associated so what we have is association between b and b so b and b because it's the same value so when you come over here b and b by itself because the values are the same is going to be highly associated so you have a positive one value and but when you come to b and c it's almost unassociated so you have so these two are almost unassociated yeah and you can come over to this so let's come over here and you come to c so c is the same it's just the repeat on the other side because if you have c and c is associated but c and b are c and b are also highly unassociated so let's just go ahead and try let's go to open and let's try our xrd file oh, save yes let's let's just see what happens let's compare some of these go to statistics and head over to descriptive and correlation let's Okay, let's choose columns. So C is selected. Let's select B as well. So we have we have C and B or B and C, whichever. Let's choose because we know that the XRD pattern is not going to be linear. Let's just go with spear spearman and add a scatter plot and hit OK. So now we have a correlation. And the Spearman correlation is telling us that if we take these two columns or these two variables, if you take just C by itself, so this one and compare it with itself is highly associated. So you have, you have one. Okay. You have one. Now, if you have highly and also the other way around for B and B, you have one. Now, if you have if you compare c and b you have a positive slope so if you check the diagram you can see it you have a positive slope so it's it's also strongly associated to some point 
okay and the same thing for the other way around so that was something cool that i wanted to show as well let's go back to open and head back to start and save this one so if we check our diagram for this one that we did before plot okay so you see it's it's randomly you don't have a linear so although we did pearson you don't have a linear association that is why we are getting close to zero so this is also a measure to see how two variables are associated with themselves you can maybe you have ten thousand data sets and you want to have an idea or even compare the strength of association between two different variables you can head over to correlations and do that